Hello and welcome. This video explains how you can switch the destination of a Blackmagic Design Video Hub with two buttons. The buttons get their labels from the Video Hub and they light up when the corresponding source is selected. An additional monitor will display the selected source of the destination. By the way, the blue dots here tell you where I'm typing on the surface. So let's start. Please create a new scene first and rename it into Video Hub. After that, don't forget to select it. Confirm your selection and open the Interface section. Add a new Video Hub interface here. As you can see, the Video Hub interface appears in red. This happens because the main switch for the interfaces here is switched on and the new interface is not connected to an existing Video Hub. To solve this, one way is to open the settings of the Video Hub interface and switch on the offline mode. In this mode, the interface behaves as if a Video Hub is connected. If there is a Video Hub available in your network, you can enter the corresponding IP address and port here. Make sure that the offline mode in your case is turned off. The interface now appears green and signals that everything is fine. Let me tell you a bit more about the main switch in the upper right corner. It allows you to activate or deactivate all your interfaces of your scene. When switched off, the button appears grey and all interfaces are disconnected. When switched on, the green color signals you that all interfaces are connected. If the button appears red, at least one interface could not connect. If you want to know which one it is, please open the Interface Overview via the main menu. There you will see all interfaces who have problems during connection appearing in red. Ok, now let's place the first of our two buttons on the panel. For the following steps, your panel must be in edit mode. You can recognize this mode by the grid on the background and the open red lock. Change the mode by touching the lock. Use a long touch in a free area on the panel, select new and then button from the list. Place this button and resize it a bit if you like. Now press the button longer and select Edit. In the button's edit menu, the green buttons allow you to define commands to be sent by the button. You can send commands after a short tap, when pressing down, when releasing or when pressing the button long. Commands can also be sent, for example, when the light of the button turns on or off. We want the destination of the Video Hub to be switched after a tap on the button. Therefore, choose the first green button to define the command. Create a new command using the plus and select Set Destination from the list. The destination is already set to 1. Below the source is defined which this destination has to switch to. It is already set to 1. Perfect. Please make sure that you have selected Port and not Path. I will tell you about the purpose of Path in an additional tutorial. Confirm the command and return to the Edit menu. The button should light up when the corresponding source is switched to the destination. What we need now is an event that pushes the light on. Instead of the green buttons which define commands sent by the button, the red buttons are used to define events that control the button. Use the red button here to define such an event. Create a new event and choose destination from the list. Remember to select port here. This button should light up when destination 1 is set to source 1. Since this is already set, there's nothing to edit. Confirm the new event and return to the edit menu. Now we will set the button's label. Choose this red button to define such an event. Create a new event and choose source from the list. Same procedure here. Please remember to select path, please. The selected source is already set to 1 by default so nothing has to be edited. Confirm the event. That's it! The first button is ready configured. Exit the edit window using the Confirm button. Our next step is to define the second button. Simply use the Copy command after a long press on the button and then the Paste command after a long press on a free area on the panel. In the Edit menu you need to adjust the Tap command and the two events so that this button corresponds to Source 2 of the Video Hub. In the tap command, I set the source to 2. Same procedure in the event that lights up the button and in the event that labels it. 
Now we are ready for first functional test. Change the panel from edit mode to live mode by using the lock. The interfaces are switched on and the switch signals with the green color that they are all connected. You see the buttons get the label from the video hub. The first button lights up because source 1 is selected on destination 1. If you press input 2, source 2 is selected and this button lights up. Great! I hope it works as well in your configuration. Finally, let's place a monitor on the panel that signals the actual source of destination 1. Switch to edit mode and add a monitor to the panel. Increase its size a bit and place it. In the edit menu, choose the label event button and create a new event. Choose destination from the list, leave the destination at 1 and specify that you want to see the source. After that, confirm all windows. Let's test the new item. In the monitor you can see the actual state of destination 1. It follows the sources when you press the buttons. That's it! You will find more information about the device jockey on our website www.devicejockey.de See you next time!